to get a massive fire that engulfed hundreds of battery cases at East Pan Manufacturing, the maker of DECA batteries. We first told you about this last night at 5.30. The smoke could be seen from miles away. WFMZ's Tom Raider is live at the State Police Barracks in Reading with our update. Tom. Rob, the State Police Fire Marshal Jansen Herb telling me today this is still a very active investigation. We spoke to him as well as a witness who saw those plumes of smoke. The investigation continues one day after a fire that state police say started on the outskirts of East Penn Manufacturing's property near where empty battery casings are stored. It's nice to note that the cooperation from the company is very um, forthcoming. That's helping with the investigation. There's still multiple interviews that need to be done. The thick black smoke could be seen for miles around. Is the smoke itself harmful to those in the area? The plastics involved here with the thick black smoke that that produces as a byproduct is certainly never a good thing to have out there. But in a situation like this, you, you deal with what you have. One Kutztown man got his drone up in the air after seeing the pronounced plumes of smoke to get a bird's eye view. I think the fact that they were storing the stuff outside, you know, kind of indicates that it can go up, you know, pretty quickly. I can see because it, it was all plastic. And like I said, by the, by the color of it, there's only two things that do that, either plastic or tires, and I knew there was no tires in that direction. No injuries have been reported, and multiple fire companies are being credited with getting the massive fire under control. But it was contained, I mean, within an hour, they had that thing under control, no issues. And, you know, it's, it's just a, it's a part of life. So very fortunate no one was hurt during this fire. But again, as we mentioned, still a very active investigation. If you have any photos or video of the fire in its early stages, uh, you want to contact state police here in Reading. Live in Reading, Tom Rader, 69 News.